Uh, dear, welcome back to Sunrise Daily. I've got uh, uh, Kola Nodukpe, who is a project management consultant, but is also a public affairs analyst. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. Let me ask you this. I mean, we, we just spoke to Mr. Bayon about uh, the state of the policy, how things were being run. He's looking at it from a leadership and communication perspective. You, let me even say, as a project management consultant, if you look at the Nigeria project at this time, what would your assessment be? Hmm, that's loaded. And uh, Kunle Obayan has actually put it on the spot. But what has happened over the years is something I captured in my recent uh, paper that I delivered recently. Uh, I call it uh, Parable of a Moving Vehicle. Um, the whole essence and the whole um, problem facing the country is captured in that parable. It's just a one-page parable. And uh, with time, we will launch it and people will see. But to just give you an insight into it, it's all about all of us getting involved. We get involved. When it is good, we all smile. We don't think of when it's going to get bad. That proactiveness, that is my problem. How do we get involved? What do you mean we get involved? The last time I was there, I told you that this government that we talk government, government, is me and you. It's never them. Because the, the person that will only carry the brunt is the leader because it's the box stop party is stable. But who are the practitioners? The civil servants, they are we. The public servants, is we. The private sector, is we. Everything, but what baffles me is that when you get to government, if you have the best brilliant ideas when you get to government and they give you the lowdown of all the processes that you will do to get that result you get on board why because it's the law you must face the law that does not mean that things should not work so is the system set up to make it difficult when it's not about making it difficult. It's about also looking at when you have public funds. There must be checks and balances. And there are a lot of checks along the way. Why is it working in another climb and it's not working here? Is a big question. Which we need to put our heads together. Let me give you an instance because I don't want to digress too much from the... But the point there is that let's look at our electoral process. We copied what was done in America, USA. And we left some good parts out of it. Why did we do that? How? What parts, for instance? Look at the primaries in the US. That primary election will be, is always the best election. The real main election is just three months. The primary election in U.S., all parties will conduct their primary in the same state at the same time, not on a swap. Is it, isn't ours a combination of factors? Because they tend to also look at the legal aspects of this all. Because they wonder if you file a particular case, maybe if you go through all the processes of your writ of summons and, and statement of claim, you do all your processes, and then your case begins. And there are certain preliminary stages you get to. They even begin to ap appeal for some motions that, or some applications that may have been moved at the preliminary stage. So your case could span two years and you're still dwelling on one matter without facing the substance. You are now taking sector by sector. That's our Law Reform Act. We can go into all of that. We won't have time. I'm not in the best place to even argue on that. The lawyers will do what they know how to do best. But what I'm saying, look at that simple item of electoral uh, reform. 
why did we not also adopt the fact that all our primaries, all our primary election will pop up candidates, they will go to each of those states or each of the local government one by one. Let everybody have that same primary, same day. And let INEC also be involved in the primaries. But, but, in that aspect, but, but what you will find what difference the party will make? bring out the best out of us. What difference would that make if we adopt what you're saying and what is happening now? Because they're still getting the same results. What is happening now is all arranged. Do you have a proof of that? It's not about proof. Look at what is happening. You can, feel, you can smell it. If you are there, you can smell it. Why would a governor want to install his successor? For what? Ask me. They can bring up argument that, okay, he wants his projects to continue. If you obey the law, why not continue? If it's a good project. This is the point. But there's a continuity. But you see, the whole idea of picking his successor, he will go through the primaries because ordinarily, ordinarily, the governor or the president is always the leader of the party. Do you not support continuity for a party? Continuity. I support good, good programs. What if a party has a good program and is able to deliver on its promise, you support it? Of course. That's the whole essence of being there. A government will take care of the people. And if you look at all the programs that he's doing, you will see. Let me give you a typical example in Lagos State. By the way, I'm not a PDP man, not anymore. And I'm not an APC man. I just want to be myself. Look at issues the way it's supposed to be done. The present governor of Lagos State is doing something. It might be little, but it's, it's reordering everybody to be law and abiding. Look at the simple barriers that he put in Ojota, on Ojota K2 area. That has reduced the traffic on that place because people cross the road. But cleverly, everybody is now climbing the footbridge and is going to add another one now. That alone will give you some kind of nation word that, look, somebody is looking at your back and is ordering your priority right. We can look at so many factors. You can look at uh, you can look at our transportation. We'll come to that in a minute, but let me take you back to what you said initially about us all having the primaries, I mean, politics, having primaries the same time. Yes. The question of capacity clearly will arise. We've seen states that are having elections, staggered elections now, and we've seen the relevant bodies, including INEC and security, be of the impression that this looks better because we can concentrate and handle this as opposed to having it nationwide where we spread ourselves thin and not have the same kind of effect. Do we have the capacity to handle everything at the same time? No, what I'm saying is that you don't even have to do the primaries. You are just qualifying what I'm saying. You don't need to do the primaries at the same time. I thought you said we should do it at the same time. No, I said, local government. for instance, we have two parties, two major parties, for instance, in, in Nigeria, PDP and APC. They are the two major parties. Now, if PDP wants to do primaries in Lagos for the presidential or for the governorship, right? Let them do that primaries on that particular week. They will have campaigned before coming to Lagos and let PDP have his own primaries in Lagos State on Monday and let APC also have his primaries in Lagos State on Friday. It can be worked out anyhow. But you see, the thing is that if you throw up a lot of quality in terms of campaigning, and it is from there that people... Look, in U.S., you don't have to be a member of any party before you can vote for, your, for a party in primaries. You don't have to. So that makes the thing robust because everybody will have been on the field. 
the people in Lagos will have seen whoever is the president campaigning or whoever is the governor campaigning. Wait, and everybody will know that, look, I'm going to vote in these primaries. Wait a minute. You, so you, that the election will now be... You don't have to be a registered party member to vote in the primaries? No. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. You check it out. You can Google it and check it out. Mm. So, so what there. happens? You just walk into the primaries? Once you are registered to vote... Yeah. Uh, they voting age. No, yes. No. Once you are registered to vote, it's a national registration captured by the state. And it is the national registration board that also controls the state in the US. So it is those elections are nationalized. Yeah, but you have to be a registered party member to participate in your party. That is why they categorize votes in primary of non-party members. If you look at the results, you see that they categorize the votes in the primary election these ones are non-party members these ones are nrc and the other the other party this look what I, what we are saying is that we copy something and we left out i just give you one example out of it there are so many examples